Hello everyone, me again. This time I'm actually doing a video response to several private messages I got about this stove here and what I think about it. This is from fatstoves.com. The gentleman who makes this name is Sam and he's a wonderful guy. I was using this pot a lot and basically, you know, some wear and tear. I, I lost the silicone and then the wrap part way, you know, through the camp trip that has had in the backpacking trip. And uh, yeah, he sent me the replacement, put it all back in. I figured now that I had two pots, well, why not do an experiment here just to show you guys why I like this better than this stove. Not saying that this is a bad stove, it's a really good stove. And I do use this for my really large, you know, stainless steel. For, it's meant for like four people. It's one of those Alpine sets that I've had for a long, long time. The, it, you know, the whole set with the fry, the fry saucepan, a 1.8 liter pot, I think a 1.4 liter pot, um, your lids, and things like that. It weighs in around, uh, I think like 700 grams, so it's pretty heavy. But anyways, this is the white box stove. It has 20 jets, and it is 5 eighths of an inch down from where, where the holes are drilled. It is larger, a uh, larger diameter than the Bat Stove's one. Bat Stove's one, it is uh, they, he has 16 drilled holes and they're only half an inch down and what I found is that you know the flame that this creates over this suits what I use better it burns more efficiently whether it's this guy or the GSI pots that I use which I'll do in another video the cooking utensils and, and pots and stuff that I use so I figured for this video I'll just do a burn comparison and because it is a burn comparison, I made sure this time um, that this guy is measured off right here. That's 15 milliliters, so I'll be putting in two of these in each one. And we'll burn it to see with the standard two cup water that I've already put in here. And these guys have been sitting out here for 15 minutes. It is minus three Celsius right now. I'm not going to use a windshield because I think that's gonna alter my results and again just gonna let it you know just burn as if we're actually backpacking so ideally uh, what's gonna happen is I'm, I'm not gonna wait for each one to bloom and then put them on at the same time whichever one is ready first I'm gonna put it on because well hey that's what we're gonna do when we're actually out and about and, and uh, backpacking right so let's get to it I have a feeling that just one ounce, oop, I spilled a little bit there on this guy, darn. I have a feeling one ounce won't be enough to actually get a full burn for this two cups, but You can see why I usually don't mark off my measuring, you know, cup, but just for the sake of video, I did it so you guys can see. Otherwise, I actually have some score marks in there so I know where the 15 milliliters is. That felt pen just comes right off. <laughs> oh, yes, and I am using 99% uh, methyl hydrate, not using heat. Oh, here's a stopwatch too because I figured, well, if we're going to do it, might as well find out the burn times. So we'll do the white box still first. And this time I got my headlamp, so if we need to check out 
the burn we can. I mean, not the burn, the boil. I need to get some rest. I've been working all day today on photos for a client. Hopefully I get it done on time. I'm actually standing out here in shorts. Kind of a dumb idea. It's minus three Celsius. <laughs> Not Fahrenheit, of course. I did fail to mention in my other videos that we are below sea level. Uh, I'll find out exactly below by how much, but that is my elevation. I'm actually below sea level. So again, 20 jets, 16 jets, 5 eighths of an inch down, and half an inch down. Let's see which one blooms better. I'm actually curious if I'm going to be putting it out with these uh, cold pots here. Hope not. So, this guy looks like he's already going. Putting him down gently because I don't want to put it out. And ideally, you know, normally when I'm backpacking, when this is happening, I'd be hovering the pot above so that I can warm it up. Now, I don't know if you actually saw the flame pattern there, but this guy, his center flame shoots a lot higher than him. Normally I see a bigger flame on the stove, but I'm wondering if it's just the cold right now that's got it a little bit smaller. But we'll wait and see what happens. And I'm looking at my camera battery. I really hope it lasts. There's just one bar left right now. I might have to turn it off and turn it back on so you guys can actually get the full video. Um, shoot, I've got the dimension when we put it on, but it's 2.20 right now. We put the bat stove on, we put the henny pot on it first. Both henny pots had two cups of water measured and put in it. As I mentioned, we, you know, I just let it sit out here for a little while. I'm actually going to turn this off and turn it back on when uh, it gets closer to time just in case the battery runs out it won't be good. Hi there, I'm back. We are now at the six minute mark of the video I turned it off and turned it back on I think we're roughly four minutes into the boil and probably gonna be getting there soon as you notice I've kind of lost one of the silicone on the bottom I'll just have to put that back on <laughs> that's the one I fixed already <laughs> Got my headlamp this time. So we're probably into the four minute pull time actually. I think I probably yacked on for about two and a half minutes before I actually got this all going. If I can put that in the background and you can see it. Nah, it's not going to really work, is it? <laughs> Okay, I hear one of them 
it's starting to bubble. Let's see which one it is. We are at 7 minute 35 on the watch. And they both have little bubbles going. They're pretty close actually in terms of how it's boiling. So I'll try to show that again. Here's the white box. Stove, sorry. And here's bat stoves. So you can see this one actually has a little bit more bubbles right now going. minute 15 on the watch again I think I was yakking for about two and a half minutes when I put this on YouTube you subtract the time and you find out which one is the, the better one now just so that we know which one's gonna be boiling faster I'm gonna keep the lids off so we can take a look well actually you know what the I'm an idiot look at that the one on the right was you know we I heard it but I wasn't 100% sure because I just checked so that's at a full boil it's really going and I think it was doing that probably 20 seconds ago or something like that. Here's the white box stove. It's starting to go. Starting to bubble a bit more. I mean, to me, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm backpacking, that's that's good enough for where I am because we don't have viruses in our water. So we hope, but we do have better water up here in North America. But if you're on a bun and you know the water might be bad, make sure it's boiling like this. And we'll, we'll keep filling this so that we see which one goes out first because that's that's another reason I was doing this video to show you which one is more efficient. Oh, so that just started coming to a boil at 9.20ish. So there you go. But this has been boiling for quite some time already. And I'll just put that on the camera so then you guys can see when the stoves go out and put the lids back on because I actually want some tea later I think my brother wants some tea so I want to keep it nice and hot <laughs> regardless of what you just saw there with the silicone tape these are actually great pots I don't know about you guys but I'm really lazy it's kind of hard to get these up here in BC I think because I tried looking and that's what uh, drew me onto the websites on, on the internet. And this is where I found Sam who sells these stoves. So I didn't have to make my own stove. I could just buy it from him. And it had, and he has the pots too. And I bought it as a whole kit. Works for me. They both come with windscreens and like a heat shield plate on the bottom. There's the uh, white box stove and it's going out. And it went out at 10.45 on this watch. Again, minus time I was jabbering at the beginning. This guy's still going. And remember, I spilled a little bit of fuel. And I didn't, you know, dribble a bit more in. And this came to a boil a lot quicker than this guy. So I put in 30 milliliters of fuel in each one where I, ouch, that was hot, <laughs> where I dripped a little bit off from that stove. And that one just went out at 10.20, ah, uh, sorry, 11.20. There you go, folks. Any questions, just leave something in the comment and I'll try to answer you.